Rose Karanja to take to come and take us through this session. Akaweza kutuongoza kipindi hiki. And may God be with you. Mungu awe pamoja naye. God bless you so much. Amen. She will tell us where she needs us to sit or to continue standing. Atatuambia kama tusimame ama tukae. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, before you sit straight yourself. Kabla ukae chini naomba uweze kujinyosha, jinyoshe, jinyoshe. Juu chini. Na pande. Amen. Na pande. Now we are welcome to sit down. Mmekaribishwa kukaa chini. Ah, uh, we thank God for this time. Nafurahia Bwana kwa kipindi hiki. Ah, we are being given a lot. Tumepewa mambo mengi sana. A session after another. Kipindi baada ya kingine. Because we are readers. Kwa sababu sisi ni viongozi. We are no longer children. Sisi si watoto tena. So we must be given a lot. Lazima tupewe mambo mengi. Si ni kweli? Viongozi si watoto. So ukiona inakuja hii na inakuja ingine na inakuja ingine jua kwamba sisi ni watu wazima because we are readers and uh, I have been given a very good topic Nimepewa funzo nzuri a topic called savings and debts Kuhifadhi na madeni savings and debts Kuhifadhi na madeni We are got it and we want to see what does God say about savings. Tutaangalia na tuone Mungu anasema kuhusu nini kuhusu kuhifadhi. What does God say about debt? Mungu anasema nini kuhusu madeni? And by the end of it I want to believe you mean it to us. Na mwisho wa yote naamini Bwana atatuhudumia. Naitwa Rose Karanja. Na we wametoka hapa die Karanja. Uyo dia napikiaga ugari. Amen. <laughs> so we are following one another and I want to believe that our uh, family will bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm saying this because of the new people who may not know me. Nasema hivi kwa wale watu wageni ambao hawanijui. So as women, kama wamama, the, the Bible reminds us that uh, we are the mother of all creation. Eh Bwana Biblia inatukumbusha sisi ni kina mama wa uumbaji wote. Genesis 3:20. Eh mwanzo 3:20. And when we know about money being the mother of all creation. Na tukijua kwamba sisi ni kina mama wa uumbaji wote our families will change eh familia zetu zitabadilika our churches will change makanisa yetu yatabadilika our community will change na hata jamii zetu zitabadilika and the whole world will change na dunia nzima itabadilika because the people who said educate a woman and educate the whole world sababu kuna msemo unasema uelimishe mama na unaelimisha dunia yote so when we learn about money wakati tunapo I am looking forward for a time when all this will change. Ninatazamia muda ambao mambo haya yote yatabadilika. Our families will have money, money, say money. Yes, our churches will have money. Kanisa zetu zitakuwa na pesa. And the whole world will know that women are blessed. Na dunia nzima itajua wamama wamebarikiwa. So today I want us to look at savings in the biblical way. Angalie leo kuhusu kuhifadhi katika Biblia. Does the Bible know about savings? Bibi inajua kuhusu kuhifadhi? Does it talk about savings? Inanena kuhusu kuhifadhi? Does the Bible talk about debt? Biblia inanena kuhusu is there anything that the Bible says in connection to death? Kuna chochote ambacho Biblia inasema kuhusu madeni. But I want to tell you that all this is recorded in the Bible. Lakini nataka kuambia yote yamenakiliwa katika Biblia. Ah, uh, if I would quote one of our readers who said the other day. Kama ningeenda nyuma ya kiongozi mmoja wetu alisema. He talked about it from the book of Proverbs 13:22 and he said a good man leaves inheritance to his generations and generations. Mtu 
mzuri anaacha urithi kwa kizazi chake kimoja hadi kingine. So in other words, saving is recorded in Kwa hivyo kuhifadhi kumenakiliwa katika Biblia. It is recorded in the Bible and it is known in heaven. Imenakiliwa kwa Biblia inajulikana mbinguni. And he added something. Na akaongeza kitu kingine. Atiwara wana safe wataenda biguni. Hiyo sijui kama iko kwa Bible. <laughs> wale wana safe tutaenda wapi? Biguni na wale sijui kabiguni ni wokovu but it is good for us to know how to save ni vyema sisi tujue jinsi ya kuhifadhi it does not matter how much you will save but save haijalishi una unahifadhi kiasi gani lakini hifadhi it is good to save ni vizuri kuhifadhi kile uliko nacho save if you have a hundred save ten bob kama ni 100 wewe weka 10 by the end of it or it will not be ten bob. Mwisho kabisa haitakuwa 10 pekee. It will be a lot. Itakuwa mingi. And we usually say that when we are saving we want to do big projects. Na huwa tunasema wakati tunahifadhi tunataka kufanya miradi mikubwa. And if you don't save uh, you will not be able to do big projects. That is given. Na usipohifadhi wewe hutaweza kufanya miradi mikubwa. Now. Sasa we have a story in the Bible. Tuko na hadithi katika Biblia. And I want us to look at it. Nataka tuiangalie. About a person who had a very big project. Mtu ambaye alikuwa na mradi mkubwa sana. And he got into debt so that he can be able to accomplish that project. Na akaingia katika madeni ili aweze kumaliza huo mradi. We have that story in the book of 1 Kings chapter 5. Tuko na hiyo hadithi katika wafalme wa kwanza. Let's look at it please. Wafalme wa kwanza. First Kings chapter 5. Wafalme wa kwanza mlango wa tano. Uh, in the book of First Kings chapter 5 we are going to look at it from verse 1. Kutoka mlango wa kwanza. And we are going to see that uh, when you want to do a big project it will require you to have saved a lot so that you can be able to accomplish it. Tutaona kama unataka kufanya mradi mkubwa lazima uwe umehifadhi ili ukaweza kuutimiliza. And this this person na huyo mtu though he had saved hata kama alikuwa amehifadhi had to get into debt so that he can be able to accomplish the project again nataka kusema ya kwamba hata kama uko na deni you are not condemned ukiwa unaendelea kulipa wewe haujakuwa condemned it is there in is there in the bible are we there in the book of first kings chapter 5 yes what does the bible say this is the story about solomon and this is what the bible says when hilam of tyre heard that solomon had been anointed king to succeed his father david he sent his envoys to Solomon because he had always been on friendly terms with David. Verse 2, Solomon sent back this message to Helam. You know that the course of the wars waged against my father David from all sides, he could not build a temple for the name of the Lord is God until the Lord put his enemies under his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, and there is no adversary or disaster. I intend therefore to build a temple for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord told my father David, when he said, your son, whom I will put on the throne, in your praise will be for my name. The leaders of Lebanon be cut for me. So give orders that the leaders of Lebanon be cut for me. He, just let me explain Kidogo. Uh, David amekufa 
Solomon amekalia kiti na nataka kujegea Mungu hekaru akatumana kwa mfalme ambaye tunaambiwa anaitwa Hiram na anasema nini ninataka kujega nyumba ya Mungu kwa nini kwa sababu mimi sina vita na kiri abacho ninataka nataka unipatie kuni so give orders that cedars of Lebanon cedars ni miti ambayo inaweza kujega hekaru the hekaru that was built was so big it needed cedar trees big trees so that it can be held well so solomon however rich as he was he sent a word to hilam so give orders that cedars of lebanon peana cut peana uamuru wanikatie mielezi ya lebanoni bring it back again be cut and then you see what he has said anasema nikatiwe miti na anapoendelea let's look at it it says my men will work with yours and i will pay you for your will pay for your men whatever wages you set na watumishi wangu watafuatana na watumishi wako na ujira wa watumishi wako nitakupa kama utakavyosema go to verse 11 what does verse 11 tell us Sulemani verse 11 that is there we are so Solomon gave Hilam 20000 cores of wheat as food for his household in addition to 20000 bags of fresh olive oil Solomon continued to do this for Hilam year after year Sulemani akampa Hiramu kori 20 elfu za ngano chakula cha watu wake na kori 20 za mafuta safi ndizo Sulemani alizompa Hiramu mwaka kwa mwaka ia after ia mwaka kwa mwaka he entered into a debt akaingia katika deni ia after ia mwaka baada ya mwaka He had to pay that year after year. Ilimbidi kulipa deni mwaka kwa mwaka. And we are told that the, the temple was built in seven years. Na tumeambiwa hekalu ilijengwa kwa miaka saba. Solomon alikuwa na deni ya miaka gapi? Saba. Ha? Huh? Saba. Saba. Sababu hekalu ilijengwa kwa miaka gapi? Miaka saba. Saba. Kila mwaka alikuwa analipa anakatiwa kuni miti inaletwa na yeye anatafuta pesa anapeleka deni ya miaka gapi ni vizuri kuwa na deni ya manibaya that's now what we want to look at what does the bible say about debts biblia inasema nini kuhusu deni does it give room for people to have debts inapeana nafasi watu wawe na madeni can you be a christian can you be a good leader if you are in debt unaweza kuwa mkristo unaweza kuwa kiongozi mwema kama uko ndani ya madeni that is now what we are looking at hiyo ndio tunayoangalia but look at solomon lakini hebu angalia solomon a rich man mtu ambaye ni tajiri the bible tells us that when god told him to ask for anything he wished wakati mungu alimuuliza Uh, uliza chochote unatakacho he asked for wisdom yeye aliomba hekima and because he asked for wisdom na kwa sababu aliomba hekima god added him riches mungu akamuongeza utajiri a rich person mtu tajiri but for seven years lakini kwa miaka saba had continued to pay aliendelea kulipa year after mwaka baada ya mwaka In other words my conclusion was kwa njia ingine debts are also biblical just as we have said about savings basi madeni ni kibiblia kama vile tulivyosema kuhifadhi it is not a claim my sister for you to be in debt si hatia kuwa katika deni 
Most of the times we blame ourselves. Mara nyingi sisi tunajilaumu. And we wonder what kind of a woman am I? Nasema mimi ni mwanamke wa jinsi gani? If I am in debt. Kama mimi niko ndani ya madeni. I have here this room to clear. Niko na na huu mkopo nimalize. And we keep talking to ourselves. Na tunakaa kila mara tukijizungumzia. Thank God you give me money. Siku Mungu atanipa pesa. I will not have any loan. Mimi sitakuwa na mkopo wowote. Loan is not for the people who are bad. Mkopo sio wa watu ambao ni wabaya. You are not evil. Kama wewe uko na mkopo wewe si mtu mdhaifu mbaya. Solomon a wise man Solomon mtu mwe Solomon a rich man Solomon mtu alikuwa tajiri to keep paying money for seven years Ilibidi alipe pesa miaka saba. year after year mwaka baada ya mwaka all the same kwa yote haya there are times when debts become evil kuna wakati mwingine madeni yanakuwa mabaya and this one is also found in the bible na hii pia inapatikana katika biblia There are times when we take loans but it becomes evil. Kuna wakati mwingine tunachukua mkopo na unakuwa muovu. Give us first Samuel chapter 15. Eh kitabu cha Samueli wa kwanza. First Samuel 15 we want to look at verse 24. Samueli wa kwanza kifungu cha 15. We want to look at and see what the bible says first samuel 15:24 here we are given the story of saul hapa tuko na hadithi ya sauli bishop has really talked about it na bishop amenena kuhusu hiyo when he was rejected wakati alikataliwa alikataliwa kwa nini alikataliwa kwa nini and that is what we want to see ndio tunataka kuona Samuel 15 it says Then so said to Samuel I have sinned I violated the Lord's command and your instructions I was afraid of the people and so I gave in That is the better want us to see I was afraid of the people Nili, and so I gave in to them. Niliwaogopa watu na kwa hivyo nikasikia walivyosema. Iko deni ingine tunabebaga sababu tunaogopa watu. Watu tutaniona watasema nini? Watasema nini? Hata mimi nitabeba deni niwe na pesa kwa mfuko. I was afraid of people. Wagopa so, watu I gave in. Na kwa hivyo nika nikashurutika. Wakati wote ambapo tunafanya hivyo mm. hatufurahishi Mungu. Mm. We do not excite God. Hatufurahishi Mungu. When we have debts because we are afraid of people. Wakati tuko na madeni maana tunaogopa watu. And sometimes we get into them because we are afraid of people. Na wakati mwingine tunaingia katika madeni maana tunaogopa watu. What am I talking about? Nina nena kuhusu nini? Nimeambiwa lunch iko karibu. Kwa hivyo usilale na maliza tu bio 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 ukakule. Najua umekura nyingi sana za kiroho hata za mwili unahitaji. Kwa hivyo na maliza bio bio. Sasa nisikilize hapa. Mimi ni mwalimu. Personal ya matitia. And I have a savings of a teacher. Mimi ni mwalimu na nimewekeza ka, kama mwalimu. And my salary na mshahara wangu from my salary I get loans. E, kutoka kwa mshahara wangu huwa napata e, mkopo. I don't do other businesses so I rely entirely on my salary. Sifanyi biashara zingine kwa hivyo mimi ninaangalia tu e, e, mshahara wangu. I want us to see how savings come and how they go out. Nataka tuone vile kuhifadhi kunaingia na kutoka. And I want to give my own example. Na ninataka nipeane mfano wangu mwenyewe with the loans that i have na mikopo ambayo niko nayo nitachora ka kitu hapa halafu tutaendelea just look at it 
Chora sako kwa kitabu yako turiabiwa kasako tu kadogo alafu katakuwa na mishare inje 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 hey, hata tumewekewa pare juu That is the circle that I want us to see uh, bring it again please uh, my how my i use my money vile ninavotumia pesa yangu these are my loans and these are my debts hii ni mikopo yangu na hii haya ni madeni yangu tutaanza pale kwa fees hizi ni zangu mimi ni mwalimu na hizo ni loan zangu na madeni zangu sasa niko na fees si niko na watoto ninaripia kuna karo ya shule haya hapo chini yake kuna duka ambao na nimebeba tu vitu mm. juzi nikamisi hapo mm. nikaenda kwa duka mm. uh, na nika nikapewa uga ya chapo na tumafuta hiyo sijaipa around me just twisty swahili chini ya hiyo nilikuwa nimetuma mtu wa boda na huyo mtu hata yeye sorry hata yeye sijamripa haya tuendelee tu mi hizi ni zangu na najua wewe labda yako iko afadhali sasa na unajua mimi ni mwalimu tu the next one niko na sakulun hiyo hiyo na nakumbuka vizuri hata tulinunua kashamba na bishop Uh, kwa hivyo hapo na smile chini yake nilifuriza sasa nilipofuriza na hiyo pesa nilipeleka watu wacha tu nitakubuka haya after that nikakaa nikatop up sasa nilipotop up kwa ile sako tena sasa ile roni tena ikaenda juu kwa hivyo badala ya iteremuke ikakuja hivyo kwa kijiji yetu tunakuaga na group hata hapo niko na na kadeni hapo ya kakijiji si unaiona kijiji hapo eh halafu tuko na ingine hapo aionekane vizuri pale tunaita gubato ama tibu banking tumejiuda ka kikundi kingine ka wamama wa makanisa hivi na wamama wa soko soko tunaitaga tibu banking sasa hapo pia niko na kadeni na ni kadeni tu yenyewe kana ni sukuma lakini nina hakika Mungu ataniogoza halafu nilikuwa nakuja kisomo nikashidwa sasa hii oflets janunua kaguo nikapewa kakitege na mtu mwingine na nimekashonesha mtakaona kesho eh kweli nakuja aje na hiyo guo mzee si nikakitege tu hebu uliza jirani yako kama yeye alifanya kama mimi si umulize ako ako kakitenge kagua konako eh haya namna kubuka mimi ni mwalimu eh? mm. sasa hizo pesa zangu ziko hapo si mnaziona <laughs> sasa juzi ah uh, nikasema nimefinyika pahari sababu ile group ya kijiji nilihitajika kulipa pesa igawa si kulipa zote nilienda kwa dugu yangu my brother na akanikopesha 5k ndio ile pale sasa nimempatia lakini kwa kijiji bado si kumaliza so bado iko hapo brother yangu ni mzuri he gave me 5000 5k akanipe haya Juzi unajua mimi ni mke wa mchungaji kuna wageni walikuwa wanakuja kwetu nikaona viti yetu imechakaa sana na kuna mama mwingine anauzaga rusi covers maruskavas mengine yametokea ya one color eh? 
inaonyesha nako hata hapo kwa Facebook so nikachukua rose covers hata hizo sijaripa lakini ukigia nyumba yangu it's very smart sinaona haya msi mimi ni mwalimu shule tuko na group ya walimu na hiyo group ya walimu kila mwezi tunatoaga 1000 sasa hata hiyo ni deni iko kwa kwa mgogo yangu nani hurumia unaniona unaniona na nikamshahara tu kama walimu haya eh conference kweli ningekuja bila kiatu Nikekuja conference kweli bila kiatu Ah hata ukiniangalia sina kaona nika kiatu kakopoa eh So na kalikuwa kadaikari hako kanini kakiatu zangu nikabeba ah simtaripa tu after all mwisho wa mwezi hauko bari nitakaripa haya nikakaka nikashema hai nywele yangu hata hiyo imekaa sana kaenda kwa dada mwingine ananishukaga nywele na muitaga Agnes wa chati yetu Agnes akanishuka kanywele Hagarao nikikuja kisoma nikae mama nini Mama smart Eh ni hivyo tu sio ati niko na shida mingi nini Sasa hata mkiniona mtasema nini na, na nywele inakaa kama brush ya, ya kuosha fro si ni vizuri nilitengeneza kanywele nikasema sasa sitabeba hivi nitakria hizo lakini kabla ya nikrie nikakumbuka mtu mwingine alikuja akatwambia anapeana pesa tunawaitaga Sherlock na akanipatia mingi we sababu sasa hata ile furiza siku nimemaliza so akanipatia tu pesa na nikaeda nikafanya nini nika nikaripa ile furiza sasa niko na Shyrock na sababu sasa Shyrock Shyrock ni wakari wana kibisha watu nikarudi tena kwa furiza na sababu pereni nilikuwa nimefuriza 20k Shyrock akanipe 20 sasa hiyo ya nini ya Shylock kwa nafunga shule juzi eh lazima mtoto akule kuku kuna eda kwa mama fulani unichukurie hiyo kuku kuku hapo sasa mimi taripa tu sini eh eh sini tatu wewe labda wewe unaogopa oh wewe fiko pale wewe inaitagwa women enterprise fund hii pesa inakuja na ni ya wamama si mimi ni mama i qualify so nikachukua tu pesa kadhaa na nilipeleka wapi kweli takubuka takubuka pahari nilipeleka haya nikakaka molo kumekuwa baridi those who don't know where i come from natoka molo na baridi ile imekuwa huko lazima ugevaja jacket start to a day 
So nikaenda kwa mama mwingine alikuwa anazururisha majacket hizi za wool za wool eh? unajua hizo za wool Sasa nikamwambia anipe tu ndio agarau nisikufe na baridi ni vizuri kukufa na baridi si nitaripa Kuna shida hiyo nitaripa tu sasa nikikufa na baridi si nibaya So nikabeba jacket na alikuwa anatoa vijana kwa hivyo nikabeba ingine ya, ya kijana na alikuwa na ingine hata askofu na yeye sikutaka asikie baridi sana kwa hivyo nikabeba jacket gapi a ni hakikishe at least hatukui wagojwa sasa ukijiatiria baridi si ndakuwa mkojwa so hizo jacket zijapeana sasa juzi he he wacha gasi ishe katumana makaa na kuna mzee mwingine anatoa makaa barigo mzuri niko na gunia mzima kamwambia tu anipe iko hapo nimesimamisha sasa hata inapika vizuri baadaye nilipata ya gas vile nilikuwa nime simakaa inaidanishaga na gas wezi pika na gas tupu na hitaji maka haya tukiwa shule kuna mtu anazururizaga masufuria ingine imetokea ya siku hizi iko na kifuniko glass kifuniko ya glass zinaitwa modern pots sasa hata ukipika nayo unawekelea chakura kwa meza hautahitaji mabakuri sasa ikaretoa nikafanya nini nikachukua niko na modern pots sasa hata wageni wakija kwangu sisubuki ninapika nayo halafu ninasafu nayo sasa hiyo ikenipita sijui nikaipata lini hata hiyo nitaripa tu sasa kwa kanisa tulikuwa tunafanya praying na ile praying tulikuwa tuna kuna kitu tunajenga hapo kwa kanisa letu nikafanya praying kwa hivyo nime praye hiyo yote na by the way nikisema hivi kuhusu prejes nimekubuka mam to reprage kabla ya corona leaders wa reprage na sijui kama waliripa ama wa tulifurahia corona ama turi tulisubiriwa na corona tuliripa ile 10k tuliripa we utaniambia mimi hii ni ya kanisa yetu ni reprage na ni reprage uh, nitatoa sababu tunajega nitatoa 10000 lakini ya enyewe kama ile ya e, to reprage hapa viogozi the last ladies conference we had kama we reprage na ujaripa ni vizuri kufanya nini kuripa deni si hata mimi ya chachi nitaripa sasa hiyo ingine sitasema sababu iko ingine na sasa hiyo ingine sitasema hii ni ture today ni tutu chache niko nazo sasa mnataka ni expose yote hey. tukiangalia hii deni tumesoma mambo mawili ndio inaligana na nini na savings and debts wacha tuangalie ni gani pale inaligana na ya solomon ni gani pale ninapoangalia naona kama ni biri tu ya fees na ya sako ile tulijenga nini nyumba nayo hizi zingine nikafuriza aya hata kijiji naweza kuwa ni vizuri si vibaya si vizuri kukaa kwa kijiji na hauhusiki kwa hivyo hiyo inaweza kuwa ni ya ile solomon sababu ninajenga kijiji sasa hizi zingine 
ni gani nilifanya kufurahisha watu ni gani nilifanya kama mtu mwenye hana hekima ni gani haitukuzi Mungu just look at it iko gani eh <laughs> yeah let's make it uh, just tell me ni gani pale wewe unaona siku haijafurahisha eh kitenge eh utaniona kesho kesho nitavaa hiyo kitenge sasa nilikuja siku juu kuja nimekaa yenyewe sasa sijui vizuri kama nilikuja nao uone ama ni deni tu nitaripa after all harafu nitaachiwa kitenge kuna ingine kweli abayo ni react kama Saul eh Bakuri modern balls Sasa sisi kuizi tunaendelea kwani kubeba mabri ni baya eh? Kwa nini si hata si, mimi nikisafu chakura na msisahau mimi ni mke wa askofu kwa hivyo lazima niwe na kiwango eh na wewe ni rida kwa kanisani lazima uwe na nini na kiwango at least ujinue kia kiasi attitude eh, and mom taught us in the morning <laughs> last we must raise our heart our attitude now if you look at all this all this are on the shoulders of one person whose inlet is one kigirio chake ni mshahara tu na ako na haya mambo yote what is the lord saying about me in connection to this you know when i was taught to talk about debts and savings i said the very first thing that we are going to deal with with uh, women ni mambo ya den sababu nimekuta ya kwamba mara nyingi hivyo ndivyo tunafanya tunajikuta tuko na kitenge now let me even talk to the young women mimi nimekuwa mwalimu 30 years if i have been a teacher for 30 years plus na mungu amenibariki ninaweza kununua guo moja kila mwaka iko na guo gapi 30 dada mwingine ameolewa juzi amekuja kanisani kwetu amenikuta niko na guo that na hizo zote nimenunua that years na yeye anataka in one year ako na awe na that mimi that years nimenunua guo that na zingine nimeretewa na wamama wa kanisa hata kwetu wananipa baga sasa na wewe umeolewa juzi na umeona sadei siku vaa ile sadio ingine na wewe you are just married you are beginning and you want to have that cruise god forbid young women wacha tujiagarie so in other words if this is what is happening what do you think is going to happen to my life these are the things that i want us to look at we have debts and these are my debts wewe eda uchore kako labda hata huna you are better off you are not like me wewe haukai kama mimi lakini eda uchore uone twako ni tugapi now what will all these do to me zitanifanya nini number one, three points abazo hii vitu yote itanifanya it will wear me down Wea me down kusema nini? Eh, what does it mean to wear somebody down? Itanimaliza it nini? Guvu. 
from here, because I'm doing calculations, how will I pay my brother? How will I pay for those roof covers? How will I pay for this hair? How will I pay for these two jackets, three jackets that I took? How will I pay for all this? What will happen is that, number one, it will wear me down. From here, sicknesses, high blood pressure, all sicknesses will be on me. Why? Because I chose to please man instead of doing what God wants from me. Number two, it will compromise my own good potential. Kila mtu ako na guvu zake mzuri sana. You have your own potential. Mugu wa mekupatia guvu zako na uko nazo. But wakati ya bapo, unashika hii yote. Unajiwekelea kwa mgogo yako. Kiri ya bacho kita kufanya. Ata hile kidogo unafanya. Huta wezana na ayo. Potensio yako yote. Sabu na unatoa kwa huyu. Dio upea. Harafu kesho natoa kwa huyu. Dio niweze kupea huyu. Agarao jina yangu ikae kama ni nini ni mzuri. By the end of it all, my potential is, is ile guvu zangu niko nazo. Zitakuwa zimemarizika. Number three kitu igine. It will make people around me uncomfortable. Wale watu ni nakana wao wataanza kukuwa uncomfortable. Wakiniona watanibadika jina. Hmm. Chunga mama furani. Sahi tu mutakaka na ye na atakuitisha el miyamoja. Atakuitisha miyambiri. Hmm. Atakuabia nisaidia na hii. It will make people around me uncomfortable with me. Imagine atakuwa jamii. Sasa kweri kama niko hivi. Ninini nina contribute kwa jamii. Ni kitu gani hapa ninaweza contribute kwa jamii? Kama umebarikiwa na mme na uko hivi, mutaanza kurizana nini? Tutapigania ile shirigi moja abayo wakona? Na instead of complimenting him, sasa nitaanza na mimi kumnyonya. Sasa the whole house will be in chaos. So in other words, it will make people around me uncomfortable. It will threaten even your marriage. It will threaten even your relationship with the children. Unajua malaigine unakuta mtu. If you too meona, izo, unasikia kwanza izo za Shylock, izo za group za wapi, wamekujia vitu yao, wako kwako. Sasa, ulikuwa umeadikisha nini TV. TV diyo hiyo imekujiwa kwa nyumba. TV, Na kiti zinabebwa. Mzee anarudi nyubani jioni. Wotire gete, hakuna kiti. Zote ziribebwa na watu wa Shylock. Ziribebwa na watu wa nini. So it will threaten what? Our families. Number four. Are we in number four? It will also affect our relationship with God. Mtu mwenye deni ya inahi. Anaweza ripa tithe. Where? Have you seen any throat for giving of tithe? There isn't. Hakuna. No tithing. And then even the pledges you have made. Ukijua nirisema pledge ni itatoa. Na sade hii diyo tunareta kanisan. Itanifanya nini? Na skip. Some of us will even start saying that I was feeling unwell on Sunday. Oh, so sick on Sunday. Oh, sita kuja. And the reason sababu ni moja tu, diyo tunarudisha pesa, niritoa ahidi, na mimi ni kiogozi, na ziwezi ripa. It will break my relationship with God, whether I like it or not. That is something that will happen. Offering, you cannot be able to give the offering. Turudishia priest hako kapicha kwa wall. Tunaendelea tukiagaria. Just look at it. 
if this is what is on my shoulders hii yote iko kwa mabega yangu ni wapi nitatoa pesa nilipe tithe ni wapi nitatoa pesa niweze kutoa sadaka ni wapi nitatoa pesa niweze ku support project za kanisa ni wapi nitatoa pesa hata kudi cha wamama na ile kazi tunafanya nitatoa wapi ikiwa hii mzigo yote iko juu yangu dinasema ya kwamba it is going to affect my relationship with god uhusiano wangu na mungu na nitakuwa mtu wa kuhepa hepa kanisa na kuigiza uogo mingi mingi so what am i going to do lazima nijitoe hapo nitajitoa namna gani then number five is that we are going to be poor readers we give what is in our hearts kire kiko kwa mioyo yetu ndio tutapea wale wengine nikiwa kiongozi niwe nimebeba na hivi nitapea watu nini that is the spirit i'm going to spread to the other people and therefore hear ye the word of the lord praise the lord bwana asifiwe tunaendelea kuelewana sema sitachukua muda mrefu nataka tu tuweze kuangalia hii mambo tuogee kama wadada wa nyumbani itatupeleka wapi tukiwa na mzigo mkubwa hivi tutaenda wapi what is going to happen and um, i thank god ya kwa barum hii ni mimi tu niko na hizo zote you are blessed yourselves nyinyi mko Ha, nyenye hamuna hiyo shida kubwa mimi ndio nimebeba nini hiyo mzigo wote si mmeuona na sitaitisha harabe leo lakini Mungu anisaidie i want to hear the word of the lord who does the bible say in connection to we who are debtors somebody who is carrying this cannot even save how is he safe Sababu inakuja hapa inaingia shimo ile. Inatoka ile shimo inaingia shimo ile. Inatoka hii inaenda shimo ile ingine. But are we condemned? May I ask? Are we condemned? The Bible does not condemn us. When we are low because we came and we have heard the word of God. Si tulikuja na tumesikia neno la Mungu. I have good news for you my sister. And we are going to see the good news in the book of 1 Samuel 22 uh, verse 1 and 2. I have good news. 1 Samuel 22 1 and 2. Biblia inatuambia nini? Kuhusu mimi ambaye nimesongwa hivi na hii shida za deni. Biblia inasema hivi. David left Gath and escaped to the cave of Abdullam. When his brother and his father's household heard about it they went down to him there verse 2 this is what it says and those who are in distress all in debt all discontented gathered round him and he became their leader about 400 men were with him just look at that bit wale wote walikuwa na madeni kama wazee Mia ine, mimi ninajiona nikiwa hapo wote wakakuja hapo 400 were in debt na wakiwa katika den wako na dis wako na shida kichwa inaenda kama birori eh hii vile inaenda yani there is no contentment hawezi kuwa contented akiwa na hizi shida So they all gathered around David wakakuja kwa David ametoroka hivyo tu askofu alikuwa anasema nilikuwa naona maneno yake karibu inakaribiana na yangu ametoroka sababu Saul anataka kumuua alipoenda kwa cave wazazi wake waliposikia kwa huko wakaenda kumuona mtoto wetu Saul anataka kukuua kuna watu wengine nao walikuja All those who are in debt watu wa mashida na madeni na maroni wakakuja kwa David 
And the Bible tells us again in the book of First Chronicles 12. I want to connect these two verses. First Chronicles 12, 1b. What does it say? How has it when you madeni dio wamezuguka huyu mze David tumekuja? Yani you can imagine anashidwa. That's how we umekuja na deni yako. Na huyu mwingine amekuja na distress zake. Huyu mwingine amekuja na mashida yake. Haya in the the First Chronicles 12 of one. Uh, bring it again. We want to read it. How what what wamekuja? These were the men who killed Ziklag. When he was banished from the presence of Saul, king of Kish, they were among the fight, the warriors who helped him in battle. They were armed with the bows and were able to shoot arrows or to string stones, right-handed or left-handed. They were kingsmen of Saul from the tribe of Benjamin. One B in a semanini from NIV version. How does it put it? Uh, First Chronicles 12. Zuri sana wacha uone. Wale watu wamekuja. Have no hope. There are people at away who get penda kuganiswa na wao. Lakini wa. In the book of Jonah, in a it's my men looking for. Corinthians twelve one B in a semanini a first. People who are useless, dated men, wamadeni, wako in distress. See what to ganika na wow. But the truth that is, budi alipo kuwa naenda kuchukua ushu. Bibiria inawaita, mighty men, buwana sifiwe. Mighty men of war. Here ye women, the word of the Lord. Mungu anatuambia nini siku ya leo? Waweza kuwa umepewa kajina. Umebeba mzigo kama huo nimebeba nimemuonyesha. I am not condemned. The Bible is telling me today that though I am dated, na nimekuja kwa hii kisomo, ninasikia neno la Mungu. By the time you see me next year, I will be a mighty woman of God. Madeni ninaenda kushughulikia na nitashughulikia aje kwa sababu nimesikia sauti ya Mungu. I am not condemned. Sija hukumiwa ati sababu nimejaza madeni. Hapana, ni petu muda nimejuana na Mungu wangu. Waweza kuwa uko hapo na umesubuka hivyo nimesubuka. Waweza kuwa umebebana kweli na imekubeba imefurutika huku kwa mgongo. Unapotebea kupitia haka kamlango Unakutana na yura ulikuwa na deni yake ya kitenge Die huyu gai Godhinako Unapoenda pande igine Yule mze wa makaa die huyu We ulitorokea wapi Unapoenda kona igine Mze wa furiza die huyu Na siku hizi hata huchukui si muzangu Unapoenda kona ire igine You are yeah, in total distress. You look like a hopeless woman who does not know the direction. Today, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. You are not condemned. We want to have a new beginning. And we are going to have a new beginning with the Lord. Because when we give ourselves to God, Yani maisha ikine hata ni ya aibu. Unita torokea kona gani. Pande hii die huyu. Pande hile ikine yako. Unashangani tafanya nini. 
nitafanya nini mimi nashukuru Mungu nimesema ni mimi tu kwa hii hall niko na hiyo mzigo mimi tu ndio nimebebana lakini nashukuru Mungu nimekuja kusikia sauti ya Mungu hear ye the word of the lord we are living this praise women who are delivered women ambao wanaenda kuanza ku save na tuta save vile nilisema our families zinabadilika jamii zetu zinabadilika hakuna kitu kizuri kama mama akijua ukweli nani anakuambia uliroho uishi kwa deni nani anakuambia uliroho how jaroho you are not cast you are not cast my sister because you came to this conference and you have had the word of the lord god is going to deliver us and we are going to have a new beginning tutakuja conference hiyo ingine tuna support kama watu wabao wanakaa kama solomon we refuse the spirit ya kufurahisha watu ishidwe katika jina la yesu kuvaa kitenge ndio nionwe na kataa kuvaa kiatu ndio nionwe na kataa ili kiatu yangu kiona nilinunuliwa na my daughter seven years ago ili kiatu iko na miaka saba. na ukiniona natebea na unaweza fikiria ni ya leo iko na miaka ire Solomon alilipa deni ya kujenga nini hekaru na sasa hapa leo sikuji conference mpaka ninunue guo ya kuja nini conference nifurahishe mtu niachwe nikitoa jasho nikiwa kwa distress sababu ya utu, mtu may god forbid Hear ye the word of the Lord today. The Lord is telling us we are not condemned. We can have a new beginning in the Lord. I can have a new beginning in the Lord. The woman in the Bible, Abaya mzee wake alikufa akiwa na deni. Alienda kuherisha na akauliza, nitafanya nini watoto wangu wanachukuliwa kwa sababu ya deni? Alimuuliza ni nini uko nayo? Ni nini uko nayo? Akasema niko na tumafuta kidogo. Kabu aenda oba mitungi. Weka hiyo mafuta. Na alipoweka mafuta, akaweka mafuta, akaweka mafuta. Alirudi kwa mtumishi wa Mungu akamwambia, "Let me tell you, mitungi ya mafuta imejaa kwangu." Aliadua nini? Enda uuze na hiyo ikine uishi nayo. Nataka kutangaza siku ya leo. Tafuta ni kitu gani uko nacho. Na hiyo itakupatia mwanzo mpya. Because you have heard the word of the Lord. And na Mungu atakukoboa kwa hayo madeni. Take hold of the word of God. Shikiria neno la Mungu. Tunasonga nalo. Tuakataa madeni. Wengine wetu hata magojo imetutesa. Ni dawa za pressure kila wakati. Na shida ni nini? Ni madeni, badeni ya wapi? Ujinga utu litoa wapi? I refuse the spirit of soul. Yes. In the name of Jesus. I did this because I was afraid of men. How can I put myself in trouble? Na jiwekaje kwa shida sababu ninaogopa watu? Kuanzia leo nimesikia neno la Mungu. Na neno la Mungu linasema I am not condemned. Praise the Lord. Yes, I may have put myself in debt. I may be in the hole with a lot of problems, but I am not condemned. God is giving me a new beginning today. Mungu ananipatia mwanzo mwema. Nimeamua kutebea na neno la Mungu. Na tutajenga manyumba kwetu. Bwana asifiwe. 
tutaerimisha watoto wetu bwana asifiwe tutaweka mabiashara makubwa bwana asifiwe kwa nini sababu tumesikia sauti ya Mungu the word of the lord is telling me today i am not condemned my marriage will not break because of debts no way i refuse whatever i have I am moving out and I'm going to start afresh. God bless you. Maybe in one minute, please, you tell us what can I do if I'm a woman and my husband, dear Nachukwa Hiyo Madeni. Sasa mimi kama mama, kama mimi wa bishop, mke wa pastor, or kiogozi wa church what can i do maybe we can kidogo tu ndio tujue because maybe sio mimi lakini yeye na jamii imeingia kwa madeni na madeni mengine rev ni kubwa sana ambao tunajipata ndani yake kwa sababu we made a wrong decision somewhere so what can we really do number two, what can we do with debts ambazo tunajipata nazo tu hata kanisani um, uh, kati yetu kati yetu pengine tuko na sherehe kuna kitu kinafanyika church alafu naona haya hata hata rais haikutosha na bia revered faith tafadhali tuletee rais kilo kumi, tutakurudishia hiyo pesa na tunanunua kwa sababu si iko shida but baadaye hatumrudishi hiyo pesa so what what can i think we can kidogo tu amen thank you so much nilikuwa nime <laughs> eh, uh, our ref Dr. Catherine is asking a question and Auriza sorry. Na kama ni wazee wetu wameleta hii deni kubwa hivi nyumbani tutafanya nini? Kona mzee aweza kuwa ni pastor, aweza kuwa ni mzee wako na ame inkaa hii debt kubwa jamii yote iko kwa deni unafikiri ni nini tunaweza fanya na kama vile nimesema you are not condemned wewe hujalaaniwa sababu ya kuingia kwa deni ni yetu tu kujiuliza ilikuja namna gani mnafikiri ni nini tunafanya tumeingia kwa deni kama jamii ni mzee amereta tutafanya nini Eh hey, askofu tatusaidia. <laughs> Two are better than one, isn't it? Ah dawa ya deni ni kufanya nini? Haina haina mambo mbili. Eh haina mambo mbili kwa sababu usipolipa itakuingiza kwa hiyo vitu tumeona magonjwa depression distress na kwanza kwanza kabisa viongozi viongozi na sisi ni viongozi Aa, iko kanuni moja ambayo huwa tunajaribu tuwezavyo kufuata na tunakumbushana kwa viongozi viongozi katika kanisa letu la Happy Church popote ilipo hauna ruhusa ya kukopa pesa kutoka kwa nani kwa washirika tafadhali hata tafadhali unikope mimi kabisa hapana kukopa pesa kwa nani tafadhali hata wewe ndiye chair lady wa wamama na ni hiyo ulikopa makaa ukakopa sijui nini ukakopa hapana kuku hapana hapana na ikiwa uko una madeni ya washirika hata ukiongea no ukiongea paka wanasema sasa siambe mwambieni alipe <laughs> mwambieni kwanza kwanza afanye nini alipe sasa please leaders na ikiwa unayo dawa ya deni ni You, you cannot escape it hakuna na ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba we are, mambo ya madeni kwanza madogo madogo is a big elephant ni shida kubwa kabisa katika jamii 
ni kubwa na ni hivyo tu iko kwa mama iko kwa wazee na 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 ni kwa sababu nafikiria we are not very good in managing pesa pesa hatujaizoea sana kwa hivyo hatujazoea unasikia hata alikopa akafuliza hajui vizuri alifanya nini si ndio na hiyo pesa sijui nilifanyia nini na ulifuliza lakini ujui ulifanyia nini sasa ikiwa ni mzee na yeye amewaingiza kwa deni <clears throat> ni nataka kuuliza e, daktari ikiwa ni mzee ambaye ameingia ameingiza jamii kwa deni the flip side kama ni mzee ambaye amewaingiza kwa baraka sizijengua zenu mungezifurahia So the flip side is still the same. Kama ni mzee ameingiza nyinyi kwa deni vile vile mungefurahia baraka sasa <laughs> musaidiane. Tuko pamoja. Eh because the uh, na ni vizuri kuongea. Eh, eh na mambo ya mandeni is very scary. By the way is very very scary iko watu nani nini ewe wengine wanasema hatutachukua madeni tena ehe lakini niulize madeni ni mbaya hapana hapana lakini wengine wanaenda hivi na hata serikali iko na deni <laughs> eh iko na wadai ni nani hana deni hata serikali iko na deni kwa hivyo nitakuwa na deni ya kuku deni ya kuku ya kukula wachana naye are we together na deni ya bucheri na deni ya kitenge hiyo hiyo sasa si uvaa ile nguo uko nayo kwa wakati huo e, ili at the same time muweze ku restructure e, ku restructure madeni ni kwenda na by the way e, shid e, njia ya kulipa madeni si kuzima simu na kukosa kuchukua nini simu hapana that that is wrong ukijipata ukishikwa shika mano <laughs> ndivyo wanasema waswahili ukishikwa sasa deni ni wewe ni mzee wako wacha kukuwa mkali in fact nimepetwa kesi nyingi unakuta mtu atiawezi ulizwa na yeye ni alibeba siku ile ulikuwa unabeba you are very good sai wewe ni mkali unakuwa mkali nini wewe <laughs> eh wewe fanya nini engage engage restructure mm eleza uanze kulipa hata ikiwa ni kidogo kidogo ni mzee amefanya hivyo lakini mnaweza ungana na unajua hii mambo ya madeni ingine inakuwa kama ugonjwa there are some people both ways both men and women <clears throat> ambao hawawezi kujizuia wakiona kitu inapita wana wanashindwa wanajaribu wanachukua sasa ikiwa ni wewe ama ikiwa ni mzi <laughs> mwambie tafadhali kutoka sasa uende uombewe usiku <laughs> usirudi mpaka uchukue kila kitu it is not a must that you pick everything that is inauzwa ama namna gani na sio lazima usaidie kila mtu aliye na nini na shida. Kwa sababu shida ingine ni hiyo tu hata hiyo anasema tu pengine nilifuliza sijui ilienda wapi. Ingine tulikuta mtu wako na shida. Na pesa ya deni ni ya kusaidiana. E, nauliza pesa ya deni ni ya kusaidiana. Eh ati umeenda umeenda kusaidiana. Hapana. Pesa ya deni inastahili kuwa ni pesa most likely utaweka mahali kusaidia ikue ili ulipe si namna hiyo basically that is what it is supposed to be hiyo ni damu ni vizuri ni vizuri kuipata pia ni sema ya kwamba i think we have uh, um, a lot of teaching on mambo ya ku handle pesa katika chama wapi hiyo iko nafikiria ninge encourage watu wasome tu kuna mafu, ma, masomo mengi how do i manage this how do i manage this There is enough information that will help you but change your attitude 
attitude ndio kila kitu attitude ndio kila kitu na nirudie tena <clears throat> you don't hate huwezi chukia wale watu walikupea nini pesa sasa unachukia huyu mama ati aliwaokoa wakati mlikuwa na shida church mkakopa kilo kumi. ikiwa mlikopa kilo kumi, na harusi iliisha sasa mnastahili murudi tu muitane tulipe nini hapana achukiwe sasa huyu kilo kumi ni nini hata hawezi kutufanya tulale hata tuwezi omba nini kwa Mm-mm. ikiwa ni kukopa mlikopa i think it is prudent prudent ifanye nini ili pues just fair actually what happens tunaharibu the flow of the holy ghost in our churches in our assembly kwa sababu tukikutana hata ninashindwa kuabudu kwa sababu nina machungu fulani unaona vile yako na vile ameongeza kilo na mchele yetu mchele yetu kweli ya mchele na ilikuwa ya kanisa sasa inafanya aongeze kilo inakuwa sasa issues so i would encourage ilipwe ikiwa ni ya mzee iwe iwe consolidated na wewe na vile mnafurahia baraka sasa kuna shida muweze kulia pamo, pamoja e, mkubaliane na uongee na mzee vile unavyoweza kuongea na yeye na yeye akubali kabisa e, iko wazee huwa tuna advice kutoka leo kwa sababu wazee wengine ni hivyo tu akiwa na pesa yeye ataingia kwa shida kutoka leo kubali mke wako awe anahandu pesa Eh na mama wakihandu pesa by the way. Eh na si wote si wote lakini wakihandu pesa unakuta unakuta watu wanatoka kwa madeni, watu wanapiga hatua. Le, na, lakini si wote wengine wakihandu pesa watu wanaingia kwa mashimo mashimo tena. So inategemea katika hiyo jamii. And by the way what I have come also to realize every family Mungu is truly a matchmaker. Utakuta kuna mtu tu amepea neema e, kuhandu mambo ya pesa, nini nini. Huyo apewe nafasi. Tuko pamoja. Kwa sababu mwingine akipewa ukweli atanunua sweeti, popcorn, nini ni ni nini na mwisho imeisha. Sasa inaisha tunaanza kulipa, tulifanyia nini? E, e, tuliweka ma seat cover sasa seat cover sisi ngengoja ama namna gani si inaweza tu ngoja e, hiyo inaweza ngoja lakini ililetwa ni ni tv tulinunua sasa imekuja kuchukuliwa sasa hapa si hiyo vitu ingengoja so kujua who is stronger who is better are we together lakini tusiwe watu ambao kuna watu wana hata unakuta wana hapa Mama na mama da huko. <laughs> Sitachukua deni. <laughs> Sitachukua deni tena. That is not right. Hiyo tena ni uoga mwingine unaingia uh, ambao <clears throat> hutaweza kusonga mbele. Lakini it is wrong. It is wrong. Did you hear the statement ya our president uh, inauguration? Alisema hivi That, that's a very powerful statement. Alipoongea kuhusu subsidy ya mafuta na unga. Alisema we will no longer subsidize consumption. Ni kama kusema hatutakopa ili tukule. Tuko pamoja. Ikiwa unga haiko na uko na viazi kula viazi. Hapana kopa unga kula viazi kula ile iko kwa sababu baada ya muda mahindi itafanya nini itaiva na tutapata u unga eh, si vizuri kukopa so that we consume it is not right please na hiyo hiyo unajua is a very that's a very powerful statement kwa sababu unakaa kwa deni na ile vitu unakopa so that you con- at ili ukule mzuri ukope We, we invest mpaka ufike kiwango cha kukulaga nini vizuri because uki uki, uki save, uinvest, 
oh, to be honest ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba itafika wakati ambapo you can afford are we together eh hey, na nafikiria tumekumbushwa na mama tusijilinganishe na watu si ni wewe eh, cut your coat according to your size eh hey, sawa wewe ni size 8 cut your coat according to size 8 cut your coat according to size 40 ikiwa wewe ni size 40 hapana weka ya size 40 na uko size 8 tafadhali na hiyo tukifanya itakuwa vizuri lakini ingine ni maombi pia ingine ni mapepo inakubali yako ingi inahitaji inaombewa so that you know and you yeah, some of it is spiritual unaona hata today unaona hasa huyu mshirika hata fungu la kumi hawezi toa. Sasa huyu atabarikiwa na nani? Hata tukimuombea kubarikiwa, atabarikiwa kweli. Ya, ya hawezi barikiwa kwa sababu amevunja kanuni. Kanuni ya kutoa ukitoa utafanya nini tutabarikiwa. Sasa huyu ni mshirika lakini akishika hiyo tunayosema anaweza akabadilika akuwe mtu mzuri. Nirudi niseme hivi <clears throat> ukiukuta una deni kubwa unapo restructure si uangalie what else you can do eh ulisikia revolution anasema e ni mwalimu hii mambo yote inaangalia nini mshahara wa nani wa mwalimu lakini umejikuta huko kwa madeni badala ya kuangalia mshahara kwa mwalimu what else can a teacher do beside Eh, beside kufanya nini ku, ku, mshahara badala ya kununua kuku sialishe zake kwani si ako kwake ikiwa ako kwake anaweza weka kuku si a, anaweza weka vifaranga ama namna gani nikipata mayai si atauza atalipa alipa tu vitu hivi vingine look also for a stream another stream ambayo inaweza kufanya nini kuleta some income Nise, nikubalie niseme hivi e, watu hao ambao wana madeni wana kwao na kila siku wanaenda sokoni wakienda nyumbani walimu wakinunua sukuma lakini wako na kaplot mahali wanaweza panda nini tafadhali mama jumamosi si ulime hapo hata ikiwa utapanda ile ya, ya nini ya gunia are we together panda hiyo sukuma panda spinach sasa uache kununua unaweza unaweza dharau pesa hizo kidogo sijui ni shilingi ya msini, ama ni 20 ambazo lakini 20 times 5 ni mia. si ni kweli hiyo pesa ambayo unaweza save kwa sababu ya kupanda sukuma eh, kuku hiyo kitu ingine kidogo kidogo hiyo 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 itaweza kusaidia uweze kuhandle this very big monster anayeitwa nini deni eh bwana Yesu asifiwe sijui kama nimejibu sijui kama nimesaidia Najua ulikuwa unataka bishop aendelee. <laughs> Lakini hujauliza swali lako. Uh, labda kwa sababu ya time hatuwezi jibu maswali yote. Unaweza muona kando. Si bado wako around. Unaweza ona Reverend Rose. Uh, ako hapa. Na kama tungepata time tungepeana nafasi tusikie ma, ma ushuhuda au experiences za watu ambao walikuwa na madeni na labda wakajua how to vile watamaliza uh, tugependa kusikia hiyo lakini naona hatuna uh, wakati mwingi uh, tugepatiana uh, hiyo nafasi lakini uh, kwa sababu bado tuko hapa hiyo ushuhuda huo ushuhuda wako uhakikisha umeshare na mtu 
labda uh, mwenye unashea na yeye ako katika hiyo shida si hata yeye atajua vile atafanya kwa sababu ninajua hii mambo ya madeni uh, tuko ndani kabisa 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 na Mungu atusaidie hata kama tuko ndani yake tusikwame hapo hiyo ndio message eh? tusikwame kwa madeni tujue vile tutafanya ndio tulipe madeni eh? I think uh, hiyo dio uh, hiyo dio uh, message ya leo. Uh, tujue vile tutatoka kwa madeni. Um, nafikiri uh, tutaenda lunch. Uh, na tukirudi uh, tutatolea Bwana. Sawa sawa. Le, tuweje, uh, tuende tujitayarishe na sijui sijui kama utakopa kwa sababu it's not good sio vizuri uh, kuja katika uwepo wa Bwana na bila kasi